welcome to edu arrow classroom in this tutorial we will discuss some properties of continuous function first property says that if f and g are two continuous function on their domain d then what it should satisfy first addition of both the function also is continuous on d Similarly, the subtraction is also continuous on D. Similarly, if you multiply both the two functions, the product of these two functions will also give us a continuous function on the domain D. Similarly, if we multiply any constant in a function F, then, then also both the function will remain continuous on their domain D. Fifth, if we divide a function f by a function g, there then providing that g x should not be equal to zero, then also both the function is continuous on their domain D. Six point says that if we if we do the reciprocal of function f, provided that that f x should not be equal to zero, then also both the function will remain continuous on their domain. From this fact, we conclude that by multi by addition, multiplying, dividing, or multiplying by constant or doing reciprocal, there is no effect on the continuous function. If there if a function is a continuous, and after performing these operations, the above function will remain continuous also. Second property says that if f is a function which is continuous. Continuous on domain D, then its modulo, that is modulo of a f, is also continuous on D. Next property says that a constant function. is everywhere continuous next a identity function is everywhere continuous next property says that a polynomial function is everywhere Continuous. Next property says that a modulus function is everywhere continuous. Next it says that a exponential function is everywhere continuous. Next it says that a logarithm Function is everywhere continuous. Next, a sine function, cos function, tangent function, cosine function, cosec function, and so on. Other trigonometric functions are continuous everywhere. From these facts, we conclude that only we have to remember these points. That are constant function, identity function, polynomial function, modulus function, exponential function, logarithm function, and trigonometric function uh, is everywhere continuous. And after that, we apply this fact in our question. So or we have to remember only remember these points. No need to perform the proof and any other criteria for this function. So these are the some property which we have to remember while solving the question of continuous. While solving the question of continuity, so 